Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Lily. I am going on a little date with hubby and I was just about to get ready and decided to turn on the camera. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, just stick around. Oh my god! <laughs> Anyways, I'm grabbing the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel first because my skin is super dry. Then to try to get rid of some of my pores, I'm going in with the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser as my primer. Ooh, okay. Going back to an oldie, but a goodie. It's the Milani 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I'm only putting the foundation from my eyelids up to my forehead because I will be working with the eyes first. A little eyebrow magic. I'm grabbing the Morphe and James Charles palette, and I'm going to take this yellow color right here. Oops. First, I'm going to take a little more of that Milani foundation and use it as my eye base to help the pigment stand out more and stay on a little longer. So after I applied the foundation on my eyelids, I'm just going to set that so that it doesn't crease with this very light cream color in the palette. And then we're going to take the yellow and put that all over the lid and in the crease. Then I'm going to take the Conspiracy palette and use the yellow in there because it is a different tone and I love the contrast that it gives. Then I'm taking this Mally Ever Color Shadow Stick. It's like a goldish color. And I want to use this as a base just to make that yellow pop a little more. Then grabbing the mascara from L'Oreal Telescopic and just applying a quick layer of that before I apply the falsies. dance break <laughs> the lashes that I'm using are the house of lashes in the style nowhere fairy light Ooh, and I was so excited to use this because I've been looking for a good eyeliner it's Maybelline curvalude liner pigment was great the flow of the color coming out was great loved it yeah I just was gonna use the liner to fill in that little blank between the inner corner of my eye and the where my lashes began and it turned into a full-on wing liner but I'm not mad at it <laughs> I like the way it looks better actually but unfortunately I was so into it that I was out of frame the whole time and the lighting was bouncing off my forehead so <laughs> sorry about that I like rubbing in the foundation and then I'll just blend it out with the beauty blender so it picks up any excess product and it makes it look smoother. And then I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard and apply that under my eyes on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow area, and my chin. And I'm going to let it sit there and just dry up a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to jump into the RCMA Concealer and Foundation Palette and I'm grabbing two shades that are darker then my skin tone to contour the hollows of my cheek, the tip of my nose, inside of my nose, and of course my giant forehead. All 
I really like working with this because you can build the intensity pretty easily and it blends out beautifully. And I'm just going to set with a little bit of powder using the air spun powder. Just taking whatever was on the little puff that comes with it and then just tapping it off in the palm of my hand. And then I'm just applying it in my T-zone where I get the most oily. Because again, I am still very dry, but there are sections that are more oily than others. Then I'm taking the Hula bronzer and I'm just setting all the places that I hit up that cream contour with. Then of course I'm going back into that yellow so I can apply it on the bottom lash line. And with that NYX Jumbo Pencil, putting that in the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm taking the white color in the Conspiracy palette to set that inner corner. I am so in love with this blush. I just got it recently. It's from NYX, but I love matte blushes because I have a lot of texture on my cheeks. This is such a good one. <laughs> Highly recommend. Time for the highlight. So I'm grabbing the Wander Beauty highlighter in the shade After Hours. I am obsessed with this one's the only one I use, but it's just so, it's just perfect. <laughs> And then I'm grabbing the Morphe Setting Mist. I want all that powder to kind of melt together before I set it with the real heavy duty stuff. And isn't this so cute? This one has little penguins all over it. I wanted a pinkier lip. Um, so I grabbed NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Soft Spoken. I love this shade because it's literally, I feel like it's my lips. Like when it fades, you can't even really tell because <laughs> it looks like it's my lip. So I took this shade to outline my lips and then I filled them in. Then I took these two shades from Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This was a collaboration with Candy Johnson a while back, so I don't even know if they're available anymore, but I had to snatch them up when they first dropped, so. <laughs> but I haven't used them in a while. And now to lock everything in, <laughs> I'm grabbing the Ben Nye Final Seal Spray. Now to take my crazy hair down. So I'm just going to go and get dressed and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. All right, guys. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. I'm loving the yellow. <laughs> if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching and spending your time with me. And I will see you in the next one. Hopefully. <laughs> Bye, guys.